What is up guys? What's going on? Welcome back to, yes, the final episode of the Welcome to Oklahoma series. Uh, it's a bittersweet moment for me. Uh, you know, obviously I'm ready to get back home to see my, my kids and my wife. <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> Oklahoma's been very good to me. Uh, I've learned a lot here. Uh, <laughs> as far as, you know, for example, back in North Carolina, if it's if it's windy back there, we you know six mile an hour winds, and you almost have to call it a day. Well, I've learned to adapt and overcome to that uh, very quickly here in Oklahoma because it's nothing to have consistent 30 mile an hour winds throughout the day uh, with gusts up to 45 and 50 miles an hour. So I've learned how to deal with that. Uh, Oklahoma has also been very good to me because uh, I tied my personal best largemouth bass. I caught my first ever smallmouth bass. <laughs> and it turned out to be an absolute, just a trophy. That's incredible. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't have wrote that script any better. Caught my first of these hybrid or sand bass or white bass or whatever you want to call them. Caught my first ever rainbow trout. Like I said, I've learned a lot being here in Oklahoma fishing. Uh, definitely completely outside of my element, outside of the, the southern portion of the United States and, and what I'm used to fishing day in and day out. Uh, this has been an incredible experience. I've met some some fantastic people along the way. All of you that I've fished with and, and that I've contacted and have contacted me here in Oklahoma, you guys know who you are. With that being said, we're gonna wrap this video up the right way. Let's get to fishing. I'm going to Kentucky here in like three weeks. Whoa. Yeah. <clears throat> going to learn how to be a recruiter. Hopefully I'll be stationed in uh, Florida. Yeah, that's where the Mondos live. All right, we changed spots. I'm here with Parker. Uh, Fleming Outdoors, I'll link all his stuff down below. You guys know the deal, you guys know how it works. Uh, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, Facebook, I'll find it. I'll, I'm following you on everything else except, <laughs> except Facebook. I don't really use Facebook that much. Yeah, I didn't but either. I'll make sure to, uh, to link all that stuff down below for you guys. Definitely, definitely go check him out. Um, he invited me up here to Norman. Yeah. Norman, Oklahoma, it's like an hour and a half away from, uh, from where my stomping grounds are at Fort Seal. So we're gonna try to get on something. I know the last video I said that we got on some dinks, but if dinks, if it's a dink day, hey, let it be a dink day. That's that, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna get on some fish regardless. That being said, let's get to fishing. So the plan today is to pond hop. This is pond number two. Yeah. Well, I say pond, this is like a lake, a small lake. <laughs> it's a pond for pond for me. Yeah, it's a really big pond. We'll give it that, a really big pond. So that's the plan. Uh, like I said, we're at number two today, or number two so far. And we're just out here. We're just out here having fun. It's my last day fishing in Oklahoma. So, whether we catch a fish or not. It's a beautiful day, though. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, 60 degrees. I'll take it. A lot of people have been asking me about this favorite Big Sexy. The only thing I don't like about this rod is this. The handle's way too long. Really? Way too long. Dude, that's what it looks like. It just looks big and bulky. Look, when I'm trying to like, when I'm trying to pop something, it, it's as long as my arm. Like, you guys probably can't see that that good, but it's, that's the only thing I don't like about this rod is it's just way too, the, Maybe a yeah. I don't remember what I was going to say. It's driving me crazy though. I, I think it was something along the lines of don't be scared to change baits when something's not working. Um, plenty of times here, like for example, the day that I caught that smallmouth, I probably went through every single color crank I have in my tackle box and changed it to this one and like three or four casts later with this one, boom, smacked it. And I wasn't doing nothing, I was just barely reeling it. I was just kind of popping it, letting it fall. But don't be scared to change baits. Something's not working. I usually go, how long do you go before you change baits? I usually do like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, around there. 
Yeah. If, it, if you ain't got a bite on it. Yeah. 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 No, that's how I, that's how I caught fish on uh, my first few fish on a jig. I took nothing to the pond with me but jigs. Yeah. Took a couple senkos just in case. Okay. But that's that's I like what you. That's a very good point. So he he said, and this is for people getting into fishing. If you need to build confidence in a bait, don't put anything in your box or your bag or whatever when you go to the pond or the lake or something. Don't put anything in there except for what you want to build confidence in. That way you're forced to, now take a bunch of them, take a bunch of different colors, that, but you're forced to build your confidence in that bait. Now, of course you're gonna have days where fish don't wanna bite that specific style bait at all. Like, today may not be a crankbait day, and here I am throwing a crankbait, but we'll find out here in about another hour after I switch to about 15 of them. Very good point though, I like that. Very good point. So I remember what I was gonna say, I've been freaking out for like a past like hour and a half. Uh, Parker just reminded me what I wanted to say. Do your research before you go. If you ever get the opportunity to go fish somewhere new, uh, everybody knows, obviously, if you are watching and keeping up with the Oklahoma series, um, <laughs> I Googled, like, fish in Oklahoma. Nothing nothing past that. I just read a little bit, but uh, crazy, right? But, yeah, definitely do your research because if you do, look, they got the right idea. Now you're fishing. Look at them. No, do your research before you go fishing. I, I promise you guys, I've done a lot more research on Kentucky than I did here. I was not expecting there to be, in all honesty, bro, when I, I was like, you know what? They don't even have big fish in Oklahoma because I was thinking flare. Yeah. I was like, Midwest, flare catches small fish back home, so. No, that's up north, that ain't Oklahoma. True. See, I didn't do my research though. Point proven, do your research before you go fish somewhere new. It'll help you, because uh, it definitely would have helped me. Had a blast in Oklahoma so far, though. We're gonna we're gonna try to cap it off right now for today with at least one more fish, big or small, doesn't matter. We will cap it off though. Let's go. This dude's finna jump in. <laughs> All right, spot two. Not productive. Some crazy kid jumped in the water. The water temperature can't be what 40 degrees, maybe. <laughs> Some crazy dude jumped in the water, but we're gonna get something to eat and go uh, switch ponds. See you guys there. All right, we're at spot three, which kind of counts as like spot three and four because there's two different ponds. So we're gonna fish both of them. I got like uh, probably another hour and 45 minutes or so. Got to get back, get the uniform ready to graduate this week. We're at spot three. Let's get to fishing. Look. He's vlogging. <laughs> Let's get it. Those people over there look, look just like they want to call the police. Some line, that line condition? Oh, dude, no, I don't mess with that stuff. Dude. Might be the deal, because everything. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! There we go. Oh, sh dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> or, shoot, I shouldn't. Calm down, buddy, calm down. Chill out, bro. I'll put you back in the water. Chill out. Dude, freezing cold, light colored, muddy water to be expected. Dude, he hit it like right here at the bank. Huh. He must have chased it. Watch me not even. Yeah, baby, we recording. Let's go. All right, not going to keep him out long because he's cold, but I mean, I'll take it. Hey. I'll take it. This, this, this potentially, look, this potentially may be my last Oklahoma fish until I come back. And if you catch another one. That would probably be bigger. It's true. Last day fishing in Oklahoma. Potentially my last fish. Let's hope not. Hey, go get your uh, great, great, great granddaddy. Tell him to come play. Well, Oklahoma, that's all she wrote. Thank you, Parker. Where are we at? We at, oh, we we're in the dark. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, inviting me out. Why are we so dark right now? Oh, that's even darker. There we go. I appreciate you inviting me out, um, taking me on this adventure, this pond hopping adventure for my last day no in Oklahoma. Problem. He caught a fish, I caught a fish, that's all that counts. We're not gonna talk about the size, we're not gonna talk about length, weight, nothing. Don't even worry about that. We just, we caught fish. But uh, yeah, man, again, thanks. Uh, and when I come back, next time I come back, I'll be here for two months. So we'll be able to like, and I'm gonna yeah, try yeah. to plan that around 
like the summertime, the late Still spring, man. summer, and dude, we'll smack them. Dude, we'll get gonna on. Happen. It's going to happen. Yeah. It's we'll gonna get on. Happen. But I'll talk to you guys more when I get in the truck and uh, get on the highway back home. Got like an hour and a half to drive, so we're going to try to kill that before the sun goes down. But, yeah, see y'all in here in a second. So, me being me, I forgot to uh, talk to you guys in the truck. Uh, I really didn't have much left to say. Uh, thank you for everybody that I went fishing with again here in Oklahoma and everybody that invited me out fishing, but we weren't able to make that happen due to whatever circumstances taking place. Um, <clears throat> I'll definitely get back with you guys when I come back to Oklahoma the next time. But with that being said, Oklahoma was so good to me. So good to me. The Welcome to Oklahoma series turned out phenomenal. I'm going to make an entire playlist for if you're brand new to the channel and you want to figure out how this Oklahoma series you know, played out. Uh, basically, it'll start from video one all the way down to this last video right here. So in closing, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed the Oklahoma series as much as I did fishing and filming it. Uh, next stop, next series is going to be in Kentucky, so stay tuned. If you're from there, if you're from the uh, Fort Knox area, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know, and we will try to link up. The best way to contact me is through Instagram, uh, Yakpack Instagram. So hit me up there if you live close to Fort Knox or uh, Louisville or something like that, wherever that, that city is or wherever that's at. Yeah, definitely hit me up, and uh, we'll try to plan something. But, again, thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Let Yak Pack Out Let Yak Pack Outdoors earn your subscription. Thanks again for watching guys. We'll catch y'all next time.